All right. Have you ever been sitting around in a room or at a dinner table or an area just talking with friends or family, and then the next thing you know, you hear ding, ding, and everybody's looking to see whose phone it is texting. All the phones come out, the conversation stops, ruins your perfect evening because it continues on and on. So we're going to talk about today how technology has changed the way we communicate. Okay, because basically people have forgotten how to communicate. Okay, let's take a look at back to the evolution of how we communicate. Okay, we had these things, which most people don't know what they are. They're pay phones. <laughs> had to put money into it to talk to somebody if you weren't at home. Had paper or pencil or pad. Then the invention of beepers came out. A way that somebody can put their phone number in so we can see who they were, so we can run to one of these to call them. <laughs> hey, then we got email. Okay, we also got cell phones. The brick, which was the first Motorola phone, could be dropped from a two-story building, and that brick, that's how it got its name, the brick, okay, it was also weighed about two and a half pounds. From that, we started moving into smartphones and social media. Okay, computers with all kinds of different things. Email, Twitter, that, you name it, it's there. You can watch movies, you can do whatever you want. Now, we even have watches. Back to Dick Tracy, a watch that you can talk to, use as your phone, get your messages, do your email, you can do anything from your watch, except tell time. Okay? But well before social media. <laughs> okay? This is what the desk used to look like. A phone, a pad, a desk drawer, okay? Scissors, papers, and now we've got Timber, we've got Skype, we've got Reddit, YouTube, okay, Pinrest, LinkedIn, Four Foursquare, which Instagram, WordPress, Twitter, and Facebook. We have more ways to talk to people than we've ever had. So what has that done? This is the way things used to be. You used to have a chat, you sit down with people or stand up, you'd be standing in a room before technologies. Now, everybody's on their phones. Okay, that's the way everybody talks. Having dinner with a group of friends. Okay, it used to be everybody sat around and talked, just like the opening little conversation. Now, got this. Here's guy, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. She's got a thing on there that says, do you mind if I strap the phone to your forehead so I can pretend that you're looking at me when I talk to you? <laughs> Okay? People just ignore each other. They don't communicate anymore. Personal relationships. I'm going to talk about this one first. True story. Barbara, my girlfriend, and I were sitting on the couch one night watching a movie years ago. And we get a text. It's her son, Robert. He goes, guess what? She typed back, what? I just got engaged. And both of us are... She reads me a text. He just said he got engaged. We're like, what do you mean? We thought it was a joke. <laughs> so then she says, what do you mean? <laughs> he said, we, I just got engaged. We'll see you over the weekend. And I'm looking at Barb, and she's looking at me, and we're going, boy, how impersonal can you be? You know, we raised him better than to do that. <laughs> so they come over Saturday. He, he's all happy and excited and introduces her to us. And I said, what the heck is wrong with you? Does that, did that engagement not mean anything to you? Okay? That was the most impersonal way that both of you could have told us that you were getting engaged. You should have waited until today when you came over and told us. It would have been a lot more exciting. <laughs> so, that's the way people are now with personal relationships. They text back and forth. They don't talk to each other. Everybody's forgotten how to speak. The negative effects of technology, okay? You're in a room with friends, big room, feel like you're the only one there sometimes. Today's society is being absorbed with technology and forgot how to communicate with other people face to face. Everything is our phones, we send an email, or, a, or you know, Skype is okay because you can see them. <laughs> but there's a lot of ways that we've just stopped face to face communications. Okay, imagine going to a movie and having the whole screen texted to you. It would be as exciting, wouldn't it? Stop that. 
Okay. It's caused people to be isolated and affects their interpersonal relationships. That's a big one. Okay, because you, you lose the emotion when you don't talk to somebody. The little emojos just don't do it. Okay. I mean, I had somebody send me a text from my dog passed away. They, they hit a little smiley face. I don't think they meant to, but they did. Okay. Was I happy about that? No. Is that what they meant? Who knows? But I took it like, well, I won't say it. <laughs> okay? We've gotten lazy. We don't talk. Our kids can't count. They can't spell. Okay? We let our electronics do it all for us. Spell check. Cash registers when you go to McDonald's or a restaurant. They can't even count back the change when it tells them how much to give it to you. Okay? That's a problem. And that's the way society's going. So what can we do? Technology is both good and bad. Okay? It's actually helped in a lot of ways. It's helped us connect with old friends okay, that we haven't seen in a long time via social media. Okay? It also helps the parents keep track of their children. So, but there's a good really outweigh the bad. We're in a fast-paced society due to technology. Information's at our fingertips, and it's made it easy to send a quick text, tweet, poke to our friends. I challenge you to try to unplug from technology for a couple of hours. Okay? You'll be surprised how difficult it is to relinquish your phone. How many of you left your cell phone at home and said, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? <laughs> okay? That's pretty much the standard where people have gone home to get their phone, be late for work, be late for school, doesn't matter as long as they have their phone. Okay. Here's a little quote that I found, and it is so true. Technology can be our best friend, and technology can also be the biggest party pooper of our lives. It interrupts our own stories, interrupts our ability to have a thought or a daydream, to imagine something wonderful because we're too busy bridging to walk from the cafeteria back to the office on a cell phone. Okay, that's Steven Spielberg, who is the master of technology. Okay. Here's a new app. Put your phone away. Pay attention to those talking to you. There's an app for that. It's called Respect. Okay? So a few little things like that, and people will be a lot better off. I know it's hard for a lot of people to put away their phones. It's become an appendage. Okay? And it, it's happened to all of us. So it's something we've got to work on. So basically, if you can unplug for a couple of hours a day, we actually had a challenge at work where it was to stay unplugged for a couple of hours a day. It was part of our mental health type training, <laughs> okay? And it gives you a whole different outlook when people start to talk and communicate again the way that we used to. It's a lot nicer to have a face-to-face -face conversation with somebody, okay? And to get the true meaning and the emotion, the eye contact, and see how they feel, okay? People don't close business deals over phones with pokes and tweets. Okay? That there's a handshake that's there. Okay? It might be on a golf course, it might be in a restaurant, but there's always a handshake. Okay? And if we would start doing that a little more, I think overall our whole society would be a lot better. Let's put the personal in relationships again. All right? So, thank you. And we're done.